<clears throat> we need to have a serious talk about these slimes because you need to know before you buy them how bad these slimes really are. Hi, I'm White Cat Vlogs, and I don't know if in the first clip is going to be me showing you playing with this um, teal slime and talking about it, whatever. I don't know. But if you haven't seen that video of me playing with it, go watch it. If I put it first before this clip, then never mind. Um, it was a lot of fun, don't get me wrong, but it's messy. So if you do buy this for a dollar at Walmart called Nickelodeon Slime, um, please play with it. Like, make sure your kid either has a shirt on that you don't care, like it's messy. Make sure your kid is wearing a smock, like a painting smock, or if it's a little, little, or, or ha if it's a little boy, have them be shirtless with just a diaper on. I don't know if you'd let that kind of age kid play with slime, but... Just make sure you have a shirt on that you don't care gets jacked up. And play with it only outside on like a paper plate or something because something really bad happened last night when I was playing with the teal slime. When you have it tipped just a little bit, as you can see here it's starting to move. I'm not going to do any more. But if you have it on the side, it moves, and it moves quickly. I don't know if you could see that in the video. And it's very dangerous, and you don't want it on your furniture. I got it on my, luckily, furniture. It says on here that it's dangerous. Um, let's see, washing instructions. May well wash easy from skin and most children children's fabric with soap and water so if you do get it on clothes that matter you can use soap and water see I got a little bit I don't know if you can see here a little bit right there that's not noticeable that you can use soap and water and it will come right off um, it also says for best results do not use pre-wash or or bleach. Wash in hot cycle. Repeat if needed. Keep away from wallpaper, painted walls, furniture, oopsies, we'll talk about that in a minute, and carpet and all other medical or uh, metal that cannot be... Anyways, basically I had it open, I set it to the side to do something on my computer, didn't know it kind of went to this, like, it went like this just a little bit. Some of it spilled out and I went, oh no, and it got onto my couch. Good thing on my couch I have a couch, I don't know what you'd call it, but it's a couch cover on it, I think that's what you call it, and it's stuck on there and I tried to get as much as I possibly could off and put it back into the container. And I was like, oh no, what do I do? So I took a baby wipe that is already wet with water. And I added a couple of squirts of Dawn dish soap, soap. Any soap would probably work. Sprayed it, rubbed it together, got it a little wet in the water, and then spread it out and scrubbed it onto the slime. And it did, and it got it out. Then, I didn't realize the second time around, I set it to the side of me and it flipped all the way over. A lot of it came out and it was a bigger spot and it took forever. I had to literally take the soap, squirt it on the spot, take the baby wipe, rub it in, and then take a washcloth and as hard as I can, and that's why this hand hurts like hell, because as hard as I can, I had to scrub, 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 and I had to do that repeatedly over and over and over and over and over and over. So many times that it took 
maybe 20 minutes to get the spot out. I was watching Little Couple and Seven Little Johnsons when it happened on TLC. And I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. This is annoying. Good thing they're only a dollar. We got this one for this one called Royal Blue Slime for my nephew. Nuh uh. He will make such a mess. Um, the only time I'll probably let him play with it is if we go outside or something because he can just have some fun. But. I'm just, I put him up on top of my TV stand and I haven't touched him since I made this video for you guys. I'm about to go take a shower, but I even got a little bit, as you can see right there on my shirt, that I tried to get off. And so it's dangerous, dangerous stuff. It's very messy. The only time I would play with it is like on a desk or something where you can take your finger and just poke it in there and just swirl it around there and if it gets stuck on your finger like this you can just poke it back down and boom off so I don't know if you can see that and then poke it back down just play with it inside the container that's the safest thing and if you go to put it down to go do something make sure you get that lid on there because if it tips over you are fucked so if you like slime playing, this is not the stuff for you. Unless you just like to play with it inside the container. That's the only time it would be good. Because I have a feeling if I took it out, see it's starting to get stuck. It's just, it's really bad and it's just, you probably saw it in me playing it in the video and it got all over my desk, my mom's desk and I had a big mess to clean up. So... I just wanted to make this video to warn you guys that this slime is not good. Now, if you had, now the only way to fix the slime from being so sticky and bad and so liquidy when you move it around and stuff, uh, do what most people do when they make slime and use contact solution. So if you buy this, make sure you buy contact solution and put a whole bunch on here until it's not sticky anymore but it still works that's the only solution to fix this and I'm not about to go to I bought these for like two dollars like a dollar each I'm not about to go to the store and buy like I don't even know how much uh, solution works contact solution works but I'm not about to buy that just to score it a, a little bit on these to fix them and then never use the bottle again you know unless I buy more slime so my experience with slime is these are bad unless you can dock you them up the ones that are good are the ones my mom bought at this toy store which I should have brought in here so let me go get those really quick so these are the slimes that I'm talking about that are good slime this one I, I think you've seen me play with this one in a clip before but not this one. This one is the Crazy Aaron's Mind Glow Thinking Putty. That is so much fun. I'll show you it in a minute when I open it. This one is called Glow in the Dark Mars Mud. And it looks like that. And I'll show you how that one works. Uh, I don't think you've seen me play with this one. They're like five bucks at the a store here called Toy Store, so I don't know how you would find it, but it looks like this, and you just pull it apart and put it like this, pull it apart, you know, you just pull it apart and fold it, or just keep doing this to make round, and then wrap it around the thing, or you can take it and do it yourself by doing that, and then it'll make it pop. I don't know if you can hear that pop, but just make sure when you put it in the little container when you're done that you put it, what you push it down like this and flatten it. Hopefully you can see that without my name in front of my face and leave a little space. And then when you close it up, it will expand inside the package. And it's okay if it gets 
stuck to the roof it would just be harder to get off and then you can just roll it and it comes off and it'll get this whole thing like flat and whatever and then there's this one the mars one you can actually make this one fart you take two fingers like this put it down and if you work it very good it'll start farting But when you take it out, it doesn't stick. It's really good use. You could do that. You can't really make the popping sounds with it very well. And when you pull it, it does pull apart. Which means stick it back, and it sticks together. So I think they used too much solution on here when they made it. But it's still good and easy to play. It's kind of hard, but it's still good. If you do it really slowly and softly, you can pull it. But if you do it really hard, it will come off. It will break off. That way you can break some off and say, Hey, here, brother, here, sister, obo play, you know. And you can put it back together. So it's a lot of fun. And you can put it back in here and make the farting sounds. Kids love farting sounds. That's why my nephew loves this one. You just push it down. But just remember, after you push it down a little bit, it, this one will expand. It won't look like that. There'll probably be some bubbles. So next time you play it, you can pop the little bubbles. Whatever. That's just how the Mars ones work and it does glow in the dark unfortunately I don't have a camera that can show it glowing in the dark so just take my word for it it looks pretty cool when it glows in the dark so these I recommend you don't have to do anything to them to make them work at first my mom's like ah oh, we don't like this one because it's too hard but then once you work it together it starts softening up so and they're both the same price five bucks and worth it because I can't stop playing with this one, that's for sure. And just remember, these are the bad ones. Do not get them unless you get the solution for it, the contact solution for it, because these are messy, dangerous, and can get all over your furniture, and it's just bad. You can also make your own slime if you like. Just search it on YouTube, there's tons of ways. But if you don't want to deal with the mess, this is the way to go, you know. So, if you do get this one and you don't want to get um, contact solution, just be careful with it and just place it inside the bottle and you'll be just fine. You don't want to do what I did and spill it all over your furniture. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope that was a helpful hint for all you slime lovers out there. Yes, I do watch slime videos kind of satisfying to play with these if you're like in a bad mood you can just pull one of these out and start playing with them and it's a lot of fun it's crazy and thanks to this Olivia girl that did used to work at um, Disney World she gave me a great website for editing thumbnails and different things so I'll probably be using that more often so if you see different or new thumbnails that's because of my editor my new editor that I've got um, it's on a website if you want the link for it I'll try and remember to put it in the description if I don't let me know in the comments down below and I'll make sure you get it um, so yeah those are coming for the thumbnail and for the end title so look forward to seeing that and just remember those are good those are bad i'm bernie and bernie now leave me alone -y.